The first Special Operations Wing at Herbert Field was approached by the DoD Biometric Task Force. They were asked to be the first pilot unit for a biometric common access card enabled control system. This new system will use the Air Force Common Access Card, or CAC card, to eliminate the need for additional cards and IDs. Tech Sergeant Elizabeth Wright is in charge of the team tasked to develop this new technology. We wanted a, um, an enterprise solution, meaning that we wanted all of these facilities to interlink to each other, but more importantly, we wanted them to find a software system that was going to extract the biometric information off of the CAC card. A fingerprint is the information used from the CAC card, but this new system doesn't store this biometric information in a database. What we've done, I think that's a lot different than what everybody else is doing, is we're taking the information that's stored on the CAT card and using that as a validation process to really say that you are who you are when you want to obtain access into a, a facility that ultimately holds critical infrastructure. The system is still in the test and evaluation phase, but Herbert Field is not the only base working on a biometric CAC enabled control system. I think the Biometrics Task Force uh, gave uh, some, some monetary contributions to six other installations so that they could try. Um, I will say that the Biometrics Task Force did tell us that we were the first to not only meet their objectives, but we exceeded them. The Air Force hasn't approved an access control system, but Tech Sergeant Wright and her team hopes their system will be the first accredited biometric access control system Air Force-wide. I'm Staff Sergeant Aaron Drobnak, Herbert Field, Florida.